Are you kidding me? Cake. It's only three ingredients to make this cake recipe. Are you kidding me? Cake promises you three things in this recipe. And the first one is it's lighter than pound cake. And then two, it's going to give us crispy edges around the outside of the cake, kind of like a brownie does where it's nice and crispy around the edges. Then there's going to be like a little surprise in the center that we're going to get from pie filling. This cake can be any flavor you like. Today I'm going to be doing a lemon cake because Mother's Day is like right around the corner in a few days and I want to make this for myself and also I want to bring some to my mom for Mother's Day. Yeah, and she loves lemon. So that's our flavor today. What we're going to do we just got one large bowl, it's all gonna happen in here. Let's add one box of cake mix. Now this is 15.25 ounce size. We got the sun out today, so it's gonna make it perfect to make this cake nice and lemony. If you've ever made an Are You Kidding Me cake, y'all need to let me know. Now, if you had made it with different flavors, let us know in the comments. All right, that's the one I'm using right here. It is a perfectly moist lemon supreme. All right, we're gonna add that to our bowl. Oh, it's all nice and yellow. All right, here's our second ingredient lemon pie filling. You can find this in the, the baking section of your store. This is 22 ounces. So let's go ahead and add that. Ooh, this is screaming spring, summer, Mother's Day for sure. It smells delicious. Let's go ahead and add that. I wish y'all could smell that. Oh my gosh. Do not use the directions on the back of the cake mix box package and do not add any of the added ingredients. Follow only my instructions as we go along. We have the cake mix, we have the pie filling, and then we've got the third ingredient that we're going to add. That's it. And that's going to be three eggs. You know I'm going to try that. Wow, that's delicious. Mm, you know you have to. <laughs> All right, let's crack our eggs. Now, I always like to crack it into a different dish before I add it into my cake ingredients. That way we don't get shells and try to have to figure out how to dig those out. We got one. Two. Because you don't want a crunchy cake. <laughs> Three. We're just going to beat this all together now, and I'm going to be using my electric hand mixer. Or if you have a better way to do it, if you want to use a wooden spoon, you can do that. All right. A lot of people ask me about my hand mixer because it's so quiet. This is a KitchenAid. And you can find it in my Amazon store. I'll link it in the description box below. Or you can even find it on my recipe blog, katherinesplates.com. And then just go into store items there and you'll find my Amazon store there. All right, I'm gonna stop it for a minute. Push down the sides. All right, I'm using a new spatula. This is not the one that I licked. There we go. I'm not gonna lick this one though. It's got eggs in it, and I don't do that. All right. I don't wanna over 
mix, but you can see that it's getting very fluffy in there and it's very thick. All right, that's it. Get all that excess off the beaters. All right, I've got a 9 by 13 baking dish. We're going to spray it with some cooking spray. Now, I always use baking with flour cooking spray anytime I do a cake. It just helps release the cake better. All right, let's add our cake batter. Oh, it just looks so fluffy. Look at that. We're going to see some magic happen with this cake. Y'all stick around because you want to know how it turns out at the end. All right, let's smooth it out. Make sure it's nice and even. That way it cooks nice and even. Okay, I'm going to place this in the oven that's been preheating at 350 degrees for 35 minutes. Just check that your cake is done before you pull it out. Use the toothpick. I'm going to be back. Okay, I've pulled the cake out of the oven. We're going to allow it to rest and cool down before we cut into the cake. All right, we're ready to dive into my Are You Kidding Me cake. Oh, it looks so lemony. Mmm. I love that this is full lemon. Mmm. What's your flavor? I love the sponginess of the cake. Oh my gosh, y'all. It doesn't taste like three ingredients happened here. You could have spent all day in the kitchen making this. It does have that spongy angel food cake consistency. It's very light. Oh my gosh, look at that crunch right on the edges of the cake too. Mm-hmm. All right, this is a very fast, easy dessert to put together, but you will wow them for sure with this. I want to wish all the mothers out there a happy Mother's Day. I hope you get a great dessert. Y'all, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. All right, I have 1,100 recipes out there and three cookbooks. You can go find all of those on my recipe blog, katherinesplates.com. All right, I'll see y'all on the next episode.